Kohl model in a tally ERP9. So here we have a one of school is YMK high school and he having a following fee structure like this one. So admission fee type having the fees is application fees, registration fees and a deposit fees. And uh, simultaneously monthly fees should be a tuition fees, bus fees and the cafeteria and quarterly is a lab fees like a computer and sports fees and library fees and quarterly examination fees and the final fees will be a exam fees, top up fees and school trip fees. These are a fees as we are divided into the class wise. The sum of the various amount also. Okay, now we are just uh, demonstrate you to the how working in, in a tally. So here is a we are a school and our school data means we are school and students. So now and our students are in a maintaining in one Excel sheet on here. So these are the Excel sheet data. I will explain you one by one. And uh, this is belongs to the eighth A. And we have a sheets also eighth B and as eighth uh, C and eighth D. So these are it. now look at it right here. Here is the admission number, roll number, date of admission, category, class, and all the information on here. Date of birth, address details. Yes, city, state, pin code, father name, mother name, and here is also other card and any remarks. These are all the data are in a Excel format. Okay, so now we bring this Excel with this school model. So for the importing, just we go to the import data, and on here import Excel. On here we have an a. Uh, Sorry, student master. Once we student master, it was a full path of that Excel sheet. S. Now name of the sheet. Now I have the sheet is a name sheet and the classes also on here. So we are a demo purpose. We are an eighth year and the eighth B and ninth year and ninth B. So now once we are selected into the eighth year and all the data are in a displayed in a screen here so there is one button is called the import student once we import all the students on the excel to import it into the tally under group 8 a now for the verification i will just go to the account info ledger it is a alter here the students are imported now look at it was a ATA and here are all some futures and having a not on to the some additional future like a F12 put it in the all or S now look at here is the name is contained the admission number and the student name and alias name is the admission number and is the date of admission date of birth and address details, city and state and along with father name, mother name, mobile number, gender and everything is reserved. Look at it, other number is also on here related. Now, I was just scrolling up and down here is all the information should be comes into the tally. Now, so you want to check about the fee structure. So now let's go to the ledger and I was to the alters indirect income ledgers now already i was a created a so in uh, fees ledgers so like this so here we are the application fees administration fees here we are uh, maintaining some fees along these are the fees should be a voucher type i was a uh, mentioned i will show you now so these are the created under indirect income or you can be used in a direct income also now I was a alter the groups and alter I was selected ATA because I need to 
mention the face to here on here now i was typed it as a first one admission fee okay admin shun fee fee now enter and this admission fee is having a application fees registration fees deposit fees so application fees is an of 500 and registration fees for ATA is a 1200 and deposit is 2500 now in the same I was added as monthly fees fee so monthly fees also tuition fees tuition fees is 800 and school bus fees it's a 1200 and as a cafeteria it's around 500 now it's a quarterly fees fee quarterly fees have contained the lab fees lab fees is a 1500 and the sports fees 700 and library fees 400 and quarterly examination fees is 350 and its final yearly fee on yearly fees is a final examination fees 900 and the top of fees is a 400 and the school trip fees also was on here for the 1500 once we are entered now we are putting a save so as per the details so we are entered into the tally so on the 1st of June, I was entered on here 1st of uh, June or May, May month. So we are generating a fee for the admission fee to the 8th uh, student. Now for that, we are go to this uh, utility and he having a two options is called a fee generation and promotions. Now I select a fee generation. I need to class wise fee generation now I select it I was selecting an ATA and fee type is an admission fees so it was an initial fees once initial fees will be a, so watcher which watcher so admission fees should be I was a selected now enter so I was selected is an a newly oh, yes, admission Shun admission fee yes that's it so once it was passed the so all the student fees should be a generate for the respective student now i will check it one by one now go to the day book now look at here lost date of entry is of first may day book on here is admission fees is all generated now i open a once the entry now here is look at it it was an application fees registration fees and the fees all should be as on here so once admission fees will be a we can also receipt from here so now it's a basically for demo purpose i was selected from bikash kumar roy and its balance is of 4200 for the admissions now once it was entered it details comes on the screen now he was paying the full amount 4200 now he's paying method also it asks so card or cash or check so initially I was selected as cash now it asks for the ledgers which ledger is to be go now let's enter and pass this entry now it asks for the printing of the receipt now see this is the receipt so receipt number and receipt date 
so belong to the vijay kumar as per his father name and address also is printed then its fees receipt will be application and everything should be so received through the cash and inr remote now this was a fully created now look at it into the receipt so now on here the first into receipt i was open this one now is bill management is also organized adjusted so this is the easiest way to understand what which fees he was up paying now on the date of second now again one of the person is received on here now it is also now right? now he was not fully paid it was paid only a partially amount uh, let it take it say paid only 3000 rupees and he paid through check not with a cash uh um, as now done it now it ask for the which bank he was paid so now it's a bank so should be a comes to the state bank of india what is the instrument number as i was selected as instrument number <coughs> now date of that uh, instrument is is uh, 2nd may yes sorry 2nd may yes now come to the which bank is belongs to that and uh, this bank should be belongs from axis bank now once it was pass now the school receipt print <coughs> on zooming the fees are adjusted now here is a through check number dated and draw on a axis bank so this is the adjustable bill and now on see the receipt and this is should be adjusted according to the fees as so this is the one now check out from the card so now just it was comes here is anusha kumari and he pays a uh, 1500 only and with a card now i select hdfc and this is should be a comes with a fees adjustment entry as yes. so this is the fee generation and the fees receipt so when i look at the what is the who is an outstanding so now it is a simple way display statement of accounts now an outstanding i want to see the group wise outstanding on a 8th a it was display the all the students having an outstanding look at it here is the amnesha and anusha kumari having a balance of it. if i want to the bill wise so it shows to the all the bill wise details or should be comes under here now if you want to the student wise now look at it here is a student yes anisha ghosh is having only pending of the deposit fees and anisha kumari having a registration fees and a deposit fees and as komal kumari is having a three application and registration so are pending so these are a simply display according to the student wise so this is the one of the score model and the school wise promoting also is a simplest way and on the after june i was uh, generating in a june month generating a fees to the um for ata monthly fees select that is i will select a monthly fees if i add the monthly fees also should be generated into the in the month of june now see it was monthly fee generated all the students for the tuition fees bus fees and cafeteria fees on the fees received i was uh, selected as a komal kumari he having a these fees are sort of balances if i select uh, uh, amnesh kosh he having a applicable deposit fees tuition fees or a balance if i select uh, anush kumari yes 
he having a registration deposit and the fusion fees this aura clearly displays the on pending phases while receiving the receipt entries thank you for watching out this video